Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make really simple classic deviled eggs. Now in my last video, I showed you how to make hard boiled eggs in your Instant Pot. And so that's what I'm using today. I'll leave a link so that you can go back and watch how to make hard boiled eggs in your Instant Pot. But if you don't have an Instant Pot, you just need to uh, set a pot of boiling water on your stove top. Once it comes to a boil, pla gently place your eggs into the, the simmering water. Let them cook for about 12 minutes and then remove them, put them in an ice water bath and let them cool down before you peel them. So I've already cooked my eggs and what we're gonna do is cut each egg in half and then we're gonna remove the yolk just like this and then we're going to set the egg white on a plate now in this bowl here I have already put the other ingredients for my deviled egg I have a quarter cup of mayonnaise one teaspoon of mustard I have a half teaspoon of white vinegar and a quarter teaspoon of salt and a pinch of black pepper and that's all the ingredients that you need plus your egg yolks to make that classic deviled egg so let me go ahead and get these cut in half and then when they are done I'll bring you back to show you how we fill them up Okay, so I've got all of the egg yolks and the other ingredients in this bowl. And I'm going to take the egg yolks to one side of the bowl and just start mashing them up. And I'm using a fork to do this. This will help to break up the egg yolks and try to get it as smooth as possible. Unless you're using an electric whisk, you're probably gonna have some chunks or uh, you know, bigger pieces in the, the mixture. But I like to use a, a bowl that's kind of deep, so that way it gives me more room to, to mix it around really good. Okay, so I've got the, the egg yolks pretty well combined. So now I'm just gonna take the other ingredients and I'm going to I'm gonna switch between a fork and a spatula. And if I feel like I need to use that whisk to help break it up even more, then that's, that's why I have that little whisk right there. Because I do prefer mine to be very, very creamy and smooth. So once you have this all mixed up, I would suggest doing a little taste test. And I'm gonna, actually I'll just use this little fork. Mmm, that is so good. I'm telling you, deviled eggs, everybody loves deviled eggs. And if you make it like this, then, you know, even picky eaters are gonna like them. You can always add some relish, you can add bacon. I've seen people add chives and cheese, but this classic recipe is just, it's perfect. Okay, so at this point, you can just spoon these in to the, uh, the half, the egg halves. But what I like to do for, if, for presentation, uh, if you're doing this for a party, is I have, I have a piping bag that I use for royal icing, but you can use a Ziploc bag. And I've just set it over a cup. And this is just gonna help me fill it easier. So I'm just gonna take this filling and dump it right in here. Again, 
if you don't have piping bags, just use a Ziploc bag. It's just as easy. You'll just want to push all of the filling into the corner and then snip off the end with a pair of scissors. I've already snipped the end of this one off. So I'm going to push that all the way down to the end. And then I want to get you in close so you can see how I pipe these onto each one. So I've got my piping bag and I'm just going to put it down into the hole and just kind of fill it all the way up and then just a little bit extra on the top. And you can use a, a star tip for this if you want it to be really fancy. I think that's what my family growing up always did. Just make a little swirl. And of course, I would do, I'm only gonna do this if it's for a party or something like that. If I'm just making it as a side dish for dinner, then I'd probably just use a, a spoon to just spoon it on in there and be done with it. But this little deviled egg tray came from Target. It's one of the uh, Magnolia brand trays they have out right now, just in case you're wondering where I got that from. Actually, my friend Donna let me borrow it because I did not have my egg tray. So that's it. Oh, you know what? That is not it. Let's make sure that we make them deviled eggs. This is paprika. I put it in a little dish because I feel like I have more control if I just sprinkle it with my fingers like this instead of straight out of the, uh, the bottle that it comes in. So that's it. That is how easy deviled eggs are. Uh, all again, like I said, you just can add anything you want onto them, but this is the way that most people really, really like them. And you know that if you make them with this classic recipe that everybody's just gonna really enjoy them. So if you liked this recipe, go to my website for a cl clickable, I'm sorry, if you like this recipe, go to my website for a principal recipe and go ahead and like this video and give me a thumbs up because I love making really simple recipes to share with you guys. So I will see you next time. Bye.